What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going over PowerBridge Technologies Co. Ticker symbol is PBTS and they're currently trading at 11 cents per share. You can see over here on the right hand side of your screen, they are currently seeing a nice violent uptrend with an increase in overall green buying volume, which led to this huge move from about 8 cents per share all the way up to this peak of almost 11 and a half cents per share. But before I break down the stock chart and give my price prediction and analysis going forward, I do, as always, want to go over the company, talk about what they do, and talk about some of the recent catalysts surrounding PowerBridge Co. So you can see this is their official website, PowerBridge.com. It is in Chinese, so I did have to translate it, uh, which most you know, search engines, browsers will automatically suggest that for you if you are based in the United States. You can see it is translated to English, but some of it still doesn't make sense in terms of the flow of the sentences and things like that. So I'm just going to briefly touch on uh, some things here on their website. You can see their business segments, the high tech sector, industrial investment sector, and the platform operation segment. They have a little bit about each of those listed here as well if you guys want to check these out yourself you can just go to powerbridge.com and read all about this they have their core technology which is ai and iot blockchain and the metaverse industries and um, segments that i think are going to be very disruptive in the future i think these are going to be highly uh, fast growing industries as well and i think companies that can capitalize on things like the metaverse ai and the blockchain in general are going to do very good things in the future and have a leg up against other businesses. But if we take a look at what the company actually is, under this article you can see that they're a provider of multi-industry technology solutions and they were pleased to announce the launch, launch of their decentralized cryptocurrency ETF platform, PowerBridge ETF platform. And this is coming from Benzinga. And I am going to briefly read over this. You can see PowerBridge ETF platform provides a decentralized and transparent network based on Web3 technology. The platform utilizes big data analysis to select cryptocurrency index funds, reducing human bias and empowering users to manage their own assets and data without the need for third party intermediaries. The platform generates index fund products based on trading strategies and preferences of majority traders across a variety of cryptocurrencies. This allows users to take advantage of market trends and opportunities with a secure and convenient way to trade and manage crypto assets. You can see the CEO commented, we are excited with the launch of PowerBridge ETF platform for cryptocurrencies. I believe our platform offers users a better way to trade and manage their crypto assets. We are continuing working with a network of partners to bring our platform to market. I expect our platform will contribute to overall growth. Still, the crypto industry as a whole still has a low kind of adoption level. Lots of people haven't heard of crypto or they don't know too much about it. And I still think it's a thing that's rapidly growing and becoming more popular throughout the entire world. So the fact that they're kind of incorporating this platform for cryptocurrencies, I think is a good thing going forward as one of their business segments. Next, if we jump over here to Yahoo Finance, just to go over some of the statistics, you can see they do have a market cap of 46.879 million. So pretty you know, decent size market cap for being 11 cents per share stock. You can see all their uh, statistics over here as well. The average volume is 14.4 uh, million shares traded per day. You can see today they have 33 million. That's why they had that big move to the upside like I talked about at the beginning of this video. You can see their EPS, the bid, the ask, days range, 52 week range, all of that listed here if you want to find this for yourself as well. And then lastly, I am going to jump over here to Fintel and go over the short interest or the short volume ratio. For those who don't know, lots of these penny stocks that are, you know, a little bit cheaper, low cap, low float, they do have high short interest. And that's when a lot of people are selling the share, uh, shares of these stocks short. And this um, site right here, Fintel, is great at tracking that. So today's data is already posted. You can see over here on the right hand side of your screen, the FINRA short volume ratio. For today was 55.79%. That means over half of all the shares traded today that were just being reported were being sold short. So that's, you know, that's a huge amount. You can see it fluctuates as high as 57% down to 42, 55, 52, 52, 49. So it is kind of hovering right around 50 to 55%, which is pretty unusually high short interest. The average stock has, you know, 5, 10, even 15% short interest on a given day. But some of these lower float stocks, like I said, can have as high as 50, 55, 60, uh, even 70, 75, 80% short volume ratio. That's So that's a lot of short interest. So then we go back to the chart here and you see this big move to the upside like this in one day. That is partially due to the uh, short sellers having to cover their shares or buy back their shares, which is leading to this big uh, bullish move to the upside. You can kind of see a similar thing happen back here when they touch 17.2 cents per share. And I really wouldn't be surprised to see them have another move like that in the future. If I zoom out a little bit further, you can guys, you guys can kind of see what I mean. 
they had a huge run from about 37 cents per share all the way up to a dollar 60 in the course of about three four days here by these huge green candles with green volume indicators coming in as well that's also potentially and most likely uh, had something to do with all that heavy short interest paired with good news and more people buying you can see another kind of movement right here as well so this stock is going to be volatile because of that heavy short interest but it is kind of trading at a low price right now and it does have a double bottom here if you guys can see what i mean we go ahead and put that line in you can see it hit this support level right here came back up hit the support level again and bounced right back up i really wouldn't be surprised to see it see another move to the upside another similar kind of green candle day all the way up over the course of these next few days and next few weeks and i am going to give them a short-term price target of about 15 cents per share i think in the long term the company has the potential and is in the right industries to grow and achieve long-term success but as always guys this is not financial advice be sure to do your own research before investing and only invest what you can afford to lose. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.